Hi guys, and welcome back to our FIFA 22 Sunderland Road to Glory career mode. Now, this could potentially be the final episode of this series, because if we have a look, we do have the Champions League final in this episode. And as you guys know, the whole point of the series is to try and get up the leagues, get ourselves in the Champions League and win the Champions League. And we could win just that today, but we could also win the Premier League as well. We've already won the Carabao Cup. We've already won the FA Cup. Now today we could do a full sweep by winning the Premier League and the Champions League as well. But it will not be as easy as that. So firstly we'll have a look at the Premier League table. With three points ahead of Manchester City. We have a game in hand over them as well. We have Arsenal and Watford to play. And we need a point to win the Premier League. If we lose both games and Manchester City win their one remaining game... They will win the Premier League because they have a greater goal difference, I do believe. Let's have a quick look. Yes, they have a greater goal difference. They have a better goal difference from us. And uh, they've actually done considerably better in their scoring shots. We've scored 80 goals in comparison to our 68. So we haven't actually scored that many. Defensively, we've got one of the best defensive records in the league, along with Chelsea as well. But we're not focusing on them. We're focusing on us. Can we at least, you know, get a draw here? You know, Arsenal, they've always been difficult... Team, they've, always, sorry, they've always been a difficult team to play because they generally have a lot of players back. Uh, they sit quite deep. You have that sort of 4 4 2. It's almost like a 4 5 1, though, in the way that they play there. Smith Rowe does sit quite deep as well. And they have everyone behind the balls, which really hard to get in behind them. But I do believe in our team. I am going to go for our full strength squad, even though they're not entirely fully fit because I just do believe it's good enough. And I'd like to see the side lift the Premier League trophy. So let's get into it. And here we are. The stage is slowly getting set. It is the stadium of life. Fans are coming in. It's the guy from Tenerife coming in. Yes, he is. There he is. He's always there. The lad with his shorts and vests on, regardless of what time of day it is or what weather it is. He's always there with his shorts and vests. And he's there to witness, hopefully, Sunderland get their hands on their Premier League title for the first time. It will be Captain Swan to be leading us out, of course, up against its Arsenal side. And it is Scarlett that gets us underway. How are the lads? Good play this from Arsenal. The first real attack of the game. Otavio down this right side up against Windle. If we can maybe hold him up here. He has got the crossing then. It's floating towards the back post. It's a decent one. Huggins could only put it behind for a corner. Corner played short. I know where he's going to go. Oh, they always go this way. They always go this way. But we're not quick enough to get to him. We read him. We're not quick enough. Look, we move around like frigging trucks here. It's struck and it's quite miles wide. But Stefan still feels the need to get a hand on it. Corners in, get it away. Well played. Montiel now. Go to, go to, go to. Can we counter attack now? Go on, Scarlett. Big touch. Big touch, son. Go on, you're quicker than him. You're rapid. Go on, son. Keep going. Keep going. I can see movement towards the back post. It's a good ball, surely. Oh, what a save that is. It was inch perfect, the cross from Scarlett. And the keeper's pulled off a blinder there. And now Arsenal going to break. Look at this now. It's Alexander Isaac. Who we have been linked with throughout the series. Get it away, man. Get it away. Well, they pull it back now. Great chance for them to save. This is against the script at the minute because it's all Arsenal. I thought we might be able to sneak a win here. But Arsenal are dominating. We made that really good chance early. But other than that, it's been utterly all Arsenal. We'll try and work to it from the corner here. That's a dangerous goal. Keep getting there first. Well in, Stefan. Well played. Great chance now for Arsenal of Sips. Isaac through. Good chance. It's in. It's been coming. Again, it is against the script. It's not what we wanted. Alexander Isaac clearly didn't read the script. This was supposed to be a celebration under the lights at the stage of light, but it is not. It looks like our celebrations have to be put on hold for now. And they've just absolutely done us there. Absolutely done us. Second half is underway and an equaliser will do. Please, lads, an equaliser. That's all I want. Don't even need a winner. Don't even need a winner. Again, turn, 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 turn. Find your man. Turn him. Oh, wide, oh, wide. This is lovely football, this. Really good football. And it is. Diaku strikes it. Oh, I've been greedy there. Oh, wide, oh, wide, oh, wide. There we go. Go on, Diaku. Get him. Get him. Help him, help him, help him. He turns. Raider, hits it. Oh, what a save. The first time in the second half we managed to work anything at all. It's a great save. But this is what I mean. They just go backwards through little triangles. Backwards, forwards, backwards, forwards, backwards, forwards. Oh, come on. Just give away the ball, lads. This is what it's been all game. They hold on to it for so long. They're so patient with the build-up. Then eventually they get the breakthrough. Oh, come on. This is ridiculous. See what I mean? Well, in. Come on. Can we get away? Please don't just give it straight to them. Don't give it straight to them. 
Oh, it's a great ball in the end as well for Diaku. Come on. Make your move. Make your move. Good ball. Surely. Finish. It's it. Oh, come on. I can't believe it. I cannot believe that. Rainer of all plays as well. I was going to take a touch, but I just had that feeling that if I did try and take a touch, the Arsenal player would nick it off us. It's just the way it works. Two minutes added on. And Arsenal will keep hold of it, as they have done for 90% of this game. They just keep hold of it. They're so patient with the build-up. And it looks like it's going to end in defeat there. So they've given it away there, but there's no way we're going to make anything of this. We've lost 1-0. I suppose it adds to the drama of the episode. It isn't as clean-cut as we thought it might be. But that was a horrible, horrible performance from us. Good from Arsenal. They keep hold of the ball for such long periods that when we do get it, we just panic, and I just hoof the ball over the top, or ping the ball into the box. We had enough chances that were asked to be said, but he got two or three chances that usually would have found the back of the net, but they didn't today, and we've lost by a goal to nil. So it is going to go right down to the wire. We'll have a look and see who Manchester City are playing. Let's have a look. They're taking on Newcastle, of course. I'm sure this has happened before, but we need Newcastle to do us a favour on the final day of the season. At least hold Manchester City to a draw, so it doesn't matter what we do at Vicarage Lane. But I'd rather it be in our own hands and we got ourselves a result a three points away from home. And we are going to be going second string, which is relatively frustrating because, uh, of course, we do have the, the final, the Champions League final, in about four or five days. And outside our first... String squad are already very tight from that previous game against Arsenal. So, it's going to be second string. Can the second string do it? And will it be the second string squad that will be lifting the Premier League trophy for the first time for Sunderland? Let's get into it. And here we are. It's an absolutely miserable, rainy day here at Watford. But will it be a miserable result for us? I hope to God it isn't. I hope to God it isn't. I didn't expect it to be like this so far in this episode. I really, really wanted at least a point at Arsenal so we could be relatively plain sailing going into the Champions League final. It's never easy as that, is it? Watford standing our way. They are just about safe and will be remaining in the Premier League next season. And we have it all to play for to clinch this Premier League title. We've got Colin Grant up top along with Josh Madger. This should be good enough. How are the lads? Colin Grant now trying to find Madger, subs it through the middle, he is, he's onside as well, Madger, surely, please lad, please, finish, get in, it is, 10 minutes in, and we have done it, it's 1-0, it's Josh Madger, get in. It was a simple ball, straight through the middle, Watford actually slid off really, really brightly, and we broke forward, and there is Josh Madger, get in. His seventh goal this season in 20 appearances, of course he's been mainly in the second string side, but still, what a vital goal. That could prove to be. Ping into him. Well in. Well played. Well in Grant is so, so good. He's been the absolute MVP of this series as Colin Grant. Now here's Johnson. Spread the play if you can. We haven't seen too much of Johnson. Second string player as well. Finley gets the ball in though towards Castro. Oh, and I thought that was going to be his first goal for the club. At least I think that would have been his first goal for the club. The six foot six Brazilian beast. Go on, get there first. Get there first. Sando well in. Defending everything so far in this game. Brilliantly well. Gavi there. Go on, get on the overlap, Finley. Get on the overlap. There we are. Now get it in the box if you can. He does. Towards Magia. Well, that has been stopped. We're playing brilliantly well. I know it is Watford. It's not Arsenal, but it's a huge improvement from the last game. We actually look remotely dangerous. Now here's Finley now. From distance, it's Finley. Oh, Finley's at the bar. I don't think he scored for us yet as well, the young right back. And what a first goal that would have been. That's a great chance now for Watford getting there again. Sando, the captain today, he's been fantastic. There goes the half-time whistle. We've had to defend, we really, really have. And we've defended so well that they haven't managed to get a shot away. But we are in the lead. And as it stands, Manchester City are beating Newcastle at the Etihad. So we need to remain in front or at least draw this game to get our hands on the Premier League title. Madge has managed to wrestle his way through there. Still Madge. Still Madge. It's still going. Oh, it's an absolute... Oh, come on. I was going to say it's an absolute beauty from Josh Madge. How the hell has that not found the back of the net? He's having a stormer so far in this game. It's towards Madge again. Still in the box. Castro with the header. Oh, and he's tipped around the post. What a start to the second half. Only a minute or two remaining here, plus stoppage time. 
And can we get over to him? It's a great challenge there. That's yours. Well enough, mate. Hold on to the ball. And this 1-0 victory at Watford. Is it? There we go. We've done it. We have done the absolute unthinkable. What was believed to be the unachievable. Sunderland have won their Premier League title. Get in. It's a slight shame that we've had to do it with our second string squad. So it will be Sando. Although Sando, to be fair, he was our captain in the championship. But it is, you know... It's fantastic that we've had to use the whole squad to do this. I think that's why I suppose it's pretty good that we have had to use the second string squad. But it's just a shame that it's not Captain Swan to be lifting the trophy. But it will be Sanderson to lift the trophy. Our second string squad has just pushed us over the line. Go on, Dion. Go on, Dion. Go on, son. There we go. Sunderland have done it. It is history at Watford as Sunderland lift their first ever Premier League trophy. Come on. But now... This is it, guys. The moment we've all been waiting for. It is the UEFA Champions League final. And we're facing none other than PSG. I don't even want to look at their team sheet. What have they got? Who have they got in their lineup? Jesus Christ. Have a look at that. With Mbappe up top. He's going to be rated like 90 frigging 5 at this point, isn't he? Neymar in there as well. And Didi, Arta, Terreri. You've got Elliot. I'm guessing that could be Harvey Elliot as well. Hakimi's still there. Bastoni, Marquinhos, Donnarumma. They have got one hell of a side, haven't they? One hell of a side. And we're going to have to, have to, we're going to, have to put in one hell of a performance to get anything from this game. But I do believe in us. In a one-off game, I do think we can beat anyone. But if we pull out a performance like we did against Arsenal, we're going to get torn a new one here. But can Captain Twanzerby lift the Champions League trophy at the end of this game? Let's get into it. And look at this. This is uh, It feels almost like the Super Bowl, this. With the pitch and all the, the lights and all that kind of thing. Jesus Christ, it's the guy, there he is, it's the guy from Tenerife, <laughs> he gets everywhere this lad, he gets absolutely everywhere, freezing cold night, he's got his vest and he's got his jean shorts on, what a guy, and here we are, the Champions League music playing for potentially the final time in this series, it's ringing in my ears, I know it won't be too loud for you guys, for copyright reasons, but it is Sunderland, it is PSG, it is Marquinhos versus Captain Twanzerby, can we get our hands on that trophy? Come on. Mbappe gets us underway. Come on, Joel. Focus. Focus. Go to go to him. It is Mbappe well in. Great interception. Get it away, lads. No messing around. That'll do. Well played, Torres. Knock it on, knock it on, knock it on. Huggins, back to Torres if you can. He's passed it to wrong man, but I'll take it. It is Williams. Get it across goal if you can. Decent ball. Oh, he's hit there. Oh, it's the keeper. What a chance that was. Torreira now trying to find a route and it is Mbappe and thank God that goes wide of goal. We we'll get over to him. It's a great challenge originally from Twanzerby. We managed to just about scrape it away there. Turn. Come on, keep going. I can see the run. There you go. It's Elmas. He's not the quickest. It is Elmas. You're getting away from Marquinhos. Still Elmas. Elmas surely. It's in. We've done it. We broke forward. And Elmas, I'm pretty sure that may be his first goal for the club since signing in the in the January transfer window. And he's done it in the Champions League final. Get in. Driving forward there up against Marquinhos who takes him on. Takes it away from goal. Drives it past Donnarumma who's one of the best keepers of the game at this point in the save. Oh, God, breathe, Joel. Breathe. Come on. This is the thing with PSG. They commit players forward against the likes of Arsenal. They sit back and they keep on the ball for ages. It's impossible for us to get in behind. But when you commit bodies like PSG do, we're always going to have that little bit of a chance going forward. Oh, no, here we go again. His name all this time. Torres trying to catch up with him, but great inception there from Twanzerby to read the play. Look at this again. Oh, he's going to be offside. Or is he going to be offside? Or is he onside? Oh, he's off. Why don't I just keep hold of it? Well, look, that's all it takes. Two passes and we're through on goal. Because look at the bodies they've got forward. We could end up running away with this, guys. If we play this correctly, we could end up running away with this. Because literally, all it takes is one counter-attack. And we've got three on one. Because look, look at the amount of bodies. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six players in the final third right now. So all we need to do is get a little ball over the top and then we'll be through. Here we go again. Look at our bodies now up against theirs. Look at that. Look at that in the middle. This looks ridiculous. It's almost like Sunday League, this. But it's Huggins who gets it in. Finish. Oh, it's a save. Half time. We're going into half time. One goal to the goal. They've had a couple of half decent chances. But so have we. I didn't think it would be like this at all. But you've seen it. 
You've seen it first hand when they go forward, they've got six, seven players forward and they leave themselves with no one at all at the back. And we're being relatively similar, but just not as harsh with the bodies going forward. As long as we defend okay, I reckon we will get another couple of goals in this game. Because look, at look, as soon as we get the ball here, the press is ridiculous. They commit so many bodies. Harvey Elliott is coming off. And the man of the hour, Lionel Messi, is coming on. I don't know how old he's going to be now. Mbappe there with some class skill. Please, no, 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 that's not. It's been blocked, but still fell back to Mbappe. Great chance, and it is. Messi tries to flick it back, get the puck on. Well in, lads. Jesus Christ, all backs against the wall here. Come on, let's break, let's break. Look at the bodies now. Sendy, but it's been way too slow. Is he onside? He is onside. It's Rayner. Can he do it? Rayner. Oh, my God. I can't believe I missed that. That should have been it. That should have been the Champions League in our hands, guys. I've just handed it to us there on the break. I wouldn't have wanted anyone else there as well. And Donnarumma. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's a corner, though. Towards Scarlett. Headed away. Messi now. It's a lovely ball inside to Torreira. And they put it out wide. Go on, Wendell. Get over to him. Get over to him. Oh, God, no. This is dangerous. Get over to him. Well in. Well played. Brilliantly done there. Can we break forward? And again, there we go. Look at this. This is absolutely ridiculous. This PSG defender in bits here. Get it across goal. Surely, Grant, finish. It's in. It's 2-0. And we do have our hands on the Champions League trophy. It is the counter-attack of dreams. We've seen it so many times throughout this series. And we've done it yet again in the Champions League final. Get in. But what do I keep saying? I don't understand this defence at all. It makes it look so shit. I understand. It looks so, so bad. But what can I do? <laughs> what can I do? They keep flinging frigging all of their players forward. Then on the break, they've got no one back and it's like four on one. Great ball over the top there for Sergio Roberto has come on. Pull it back for Nogueira. And that's a great save there. Just a few minutes left. A handful of minutes left in this Champions League final. PSG picking it around really well as they has done for large parts of the game. But we've just defended so, so well. I say that, but now Messi's going to get the score sheet, isn't he? Of course he is. 2-1. Give it to the main man, the magician, the legend. It is Lionel Messi. I'll happily concede a goal against him. Or at least concede a goal from him. If that means we can lift the Champions League trophy. They've absolutely done this there, haven't they? Lovely little passing move. Nice finish from Messi. Typical of him. Let's just hold on to the ball, please, lads. Time waits for a couple of minutes. Not having this at all. Not having a late one here. Three minutes added on. Please, lads, don't give the ball away. Do not give the ball away. It's Huggins now. Driving at them. Spread the play. Oh, shit, no. Ball over to him. No, 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 no. Oh, shit. Go to him, go to him, go to him. Right, ball the whistle. Oh, my God, thank God. He's blown the whistle. Oh, my God. I think that was probably unfair on them. They were going to be one among the keeper, but we've done it. We have won the Champions League. That man there, Axel Twanzeby, will be lifting the Champions League trophy. It was a very, very nervy ending, but my God, was their defending horrendous throughout that game. And we probably deserve to be a good 4 or 5 nil up at some points in that game. Come on! And that is, of course, the second trophy of the episode. The first, of course, being the Premier League. And now, it is going to be Captain Swansea to lift the Champions League trophy. The biggest trophy, the biggest and best trophy you could get your hands on. There's Wendell. So many players... We've been through in this series that deserve a pat on the back, a round of applause. But none other than this man, the legend of this series on this channel, Captain Swansby. It's another one for us. It's another one for him. Come on, Swansby. There we go. The Champions League has been won, which means it is the end of this series. I do hope you have all enjoyed we will not leave it just there though before we do go we'll have a quick little rundown all the players again given that it's the end of the season we'll have a quick rundown of how much they've improved and stuff and then we will be leaving it there but thank you guys so much for the support on this series it's been absolutely insane and what a way to end it there 2-1 against PSG it looked like they should have gone 3-1 and won the keeper to make it to all at the end of the game but the ref has blown his whistle he was having none of it and there we go Get in! And there is confirmation that we, of course, have won the Champions League. But like I say, we'll have a quick run down the squad. Obviously, it's not going to be a full uh, sort of sort of season review type thing. 
But we will have a look at the players now. Let's improve. We've got Stefan, gone up by two, rated 82. Finch was out on loan at Villa, gone up by two, rated 73. Hoffman up by one, 77. Uh, Patterson up by one, 63. Frustal, look how many keepers we have. Jesus Christ, still 72. Windows gone up by two, now rated 86. What a beast he has become. Van Vallee has gone up by two, now rated 67. Guerrero up by three, rated 75. Jacobs remains 73 on loan at West Ham. Borges has gone up by one, rated 72 on loan at Watford. Dion Sanderson goes up by one, rated 77. Doyle up by one, rated 78. Ron Magnoli, the experienced centre back there, he's been brilliant for us this season. Good up by one, rated 84. Captain Twanzaby, the man, the myth, the legend, goes up by one, rated 81. You've got Finlay up by a whopping seven, now rated 80. Heinrich, good up by seven, now rated 67. Huggins, good up by two, rated 79. Castro got up by three, rated 77. Gavi up by two, rated 78. Now here's the injured boys here. You've got Gonzalez up by one, rated 78. You've got Elmas, who remains at 82. And Caballos, another injured man there. He's gone down by one, rated 80. Oliver Torres goes up by one, rated 80. Gio Reyna goes up by two, rated a whopping 85. Brennan Johnson has gone up by five, rated 81. Jamal Lowe up by one, rated 77. Castileo up by one, rated 80. You've got Diaki who's gone up by two, rated 84. Williams has gone up by four, rated 79. Magic by two, now rated 81. Colin Grant goes up by three, rated 80. And Scarlett goes up by five, rated 84. And you've got the man at unknown who we've never played, never seen. It's Julian Van Der Veen. He goes up by three, now rated 68. So that is everything, guys. Absolutely everything. We'll leave you with the Premier League table. We'll have a quick check over it, quick revisit of it. Look at that. We've won the Premier League. I mean, I think City actually drew with Newcastle. Did they draw the last game of the season? They did. Newcastle did actually do us a favour in the end of the final day of the season. They drew with Manchester City. They were losing 1-0 at half-time, Newcastle. And they brought it back to one all. So even if we did lose against Watford, we would have uh, we would have won. Regardless, we would have we would have won the Premier League title. So what a series, series this has been, guys. Yet again, thank you so much for this, uh, the, uh, the continued support. And uh, we will have a look now at the bottom three. I think it is the same three we've seen for all season, pretty much. Norwich, Leeds and Blackburn. But that'll be it, guys. Thank you so much. If you have enjoyed, please absolutely smash that like button for me. It's always massively, massively appreciated. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe. It'll be massively appreciated as well. But for now, you take care and stay. Jump it!